Hello, today we are talking about plans for total world domination. Are you ready? Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. Hello, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, where you can eat better, spend less. We have a new hardcover with full color pictures and over 1,200 recipes and tips to help you save money on your grocery bill. Check it out at livingonadime.com. Hello, today we are talking about plans for world domination, and I don't think you guys are ready. All right, I came across this and I just had to discuss this, especially because it goes along with all the whiners who have been whining, whining on my How to Live on $300 a Month series and all the whiners who have been listening to moms How to Live on $750 a Month saying it can't be done, there's no way, it's just not possible. My rent is $1,500, I can't do that. My rent is $700, I can't do that. Even though you bring in $4,000 a month, absolutely ridiculous. But here's the thing, guys. I was going through a box that my son had left. He said that it was all trash. Of course, I had to make sure there was all trash for sure. And I came across this. This is his Plans for World Domination book, notebook that he made when he was 18. Now, <laughs> it's really funny because my son has always been determined that he is going to be filthy, stinking rich. When he was about Oh, I don't know, 12, 11, 12, somewhere around there. He got this bucket and he called it his millionaire bucket. And he put all his loose change, all his dollar bills, gift cards, whatever, in this millionaire bucket when he was just a kid. Then when he became an adult and got a job being a salesman for a cell phone company, he came up with his plan for world domination. And in here, he's got a whole list of how he's going to maximize his sales to get the most money from his job. How many 18 year olds would go so far as to make out a list of how to maximize their sale to get the highest commission so that they can get the most money. And it's very interesting because he's still in a similar job now. And he is the manager of the store without higher education than a high school diploma, which he barely got. Here's the thing. He said the biggest problem he has is getting people motivated to actually do something. He, he comes home almost every day and says, Mom, this is so simple. All they have to do is ask the people this. And 80% of the time, the people will say, yes, I do want X product added on to my package, but the people don't even know that that product is available. And all he does is offer it to them. Then he makes a list of his customers and he calls them back later and he makes sure that everything is going okay with their product. Do they need anything else? And he said 50% of that time, he will be able to sell them something else like a home security system or another phone line or something like that because he followed up with them and checked. And let me tell you, he is making really good money doing it. But the problem is, None of his, well, not none, but the problem is, is the people that he trains to come in and work, they're not motivated. How motivated are you to get out of debt? How motivated are you to get that credit card debt paid off? How motivated are you to get those student loans paid off? See, this is the problem. It has absolutely nothing to do with the amount of money that you have. My mom lived on $500 a month. But right before that, she lived on $1,000 a month, put $500 a month to pay off her house and my dad's debt, and use the other $500 for, for living expenses with mom and my brother and I. 
Why? Because she was determined that she was going to be completely debt free and have everything paid off, including her house. We have person after person after person whining that they can't get their house paid off, whining that now they're disabled and they can't live on disability or social security or they've retired and now they can't live on social security. When they were wasting money buying purses, wasting money on Starbucks, wasting money on getting manicures, wasting money on vacations, wasting money on new cars. It is about choices and you either make the choice to live within your means or you don't. It's just that simple. And I don't care if you live on $600 a month or $6,000 a month, you can do it. You just have to decide if you're going to do it or not. And that is the problem with most people. That is why I always say, you gotta get it together, people. This is not rocket science. Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be work. Yes, you are going to have to do something and go without some things in order to get these student loans paid off. But those student loans were your choice. Your choice to go on vacation instead of paying off your debt. It is your choice to have a mortgage instead of being completely debt free and totally financially secure. So this is my get it together people moment. You need to make up your mind or you need to stop your whining and just wallow in your misery. But the choice is yours. This is what living on a dime to grow rich looks like, guys. If you will notice right here, can you see really close? I have two different kinds of coffee in here. See the really dark and the light mixed together? So what happened, Mike got some coffee that he didn't like. It was a dark roast, didn't really like it. So I mix it in with the light roast so that it's not so strong and we don't waste the coffee that they didn't like. So I just mixed it in here and now it doesn't taste as strong. Guys, it's these little pennies, this $8 worth of coffee that we saved. We can take that money and we can do things like go traveling and go on vacation because we save the pennies here so we can spend the dollars on those things. Okay, then you're gonna cut up your chicken to make you a nice chicken salad or chicken sandwich, however you wanna do it. If you have made the decision that you want to start living within your means and be financially secure, please visit us at livingonadime.com. We have thousands and thousands of free recipes, thousands of articles to help you get out of debt and save money, and thousands of videos on our YouTube channel that will all help you learn tips and tricks to save money on your grocery bill. And one of the biggest ways you can do that is so that you can live financially secure and stop worrying about money. Visit us at livingonadime.com and get started today for free. Are you ready? I don't think most of you are, but we need to talk about it.